Nick, how'd you react when Coach told you you won the job? Um, I mean, it felt it felt good to me because um, like, I worked hard um, to come to where I'm at today. So I'm just glad I'm just blessed to get had a chance he gave me. Just just talk about the, the quarterback battle. I mean, uh, what was it like? I mean, I guess starting off at four guys. I mean, how tough was it to to kind of make yourself? I guess seeing before people kind of sharing reps. Uh, it was tough because um, all four of us, they were good quarterbacks, so um, all of every one of us worked hard each day. So it was really it was good, but um, they really like they supported me through all that um, through camp. So all of that was well. Did you feel like you had to have some, something to prove when you came here and, and really say, "Hey, look, I, I, I deserve to be a starter here." Um, I just came in and just do what I did best, and then just just let um, whatever um, happened just took control of. It. Nick, having some time in the offense, do you feel like it's a good fit with your skills? Yes, sir, it's a good fit because I've been running this kind of offense since I left high school, and then I did some of that in JUCO too, so I'm well fit for it. What's the best part of this offense? For you? What do you like best about it? Um, really, like the read option, and then like the stuff that come out the read option. It just, it's, I did just help me utilize my ability. Just, just talk about like, having a guy like Jonathan Wallace around. How much has, does it help to have somebody that's been through the offense and a guy that, that kind of can kind of help you along? So um, that's well because um, me and Jonathan, we we cool. And then like he just told me like basically like if I need help with anything, just come to him and he'll help me with. It. How do you feel about the pieces around you, receiver, running back? Uh, you guys got a good chemistry going right now and got some good talent out there, you Yes, think? sir, we do. We bond men and receive. We bond a lot and then joke around and all that. So when they come to the field, just everything's serious and then just lock in and do what we're supposed to do. When you got on campus there in late June, did you feel like that you had to kind of be a guy that showed that you can be, have some leadership out there since you're kind of like the last quarterback on campus to build that chemistry? Yes, sir. When I got on campus, I just, I just um, really just buyed into what the team wanted me to do. So basically, that was it. What's the biggest adjustment you've had to make so far? Um, learning the offense, but it took time. But then, and then again, on my all time, I went to watch film on my own to like to get to get um, settled in with it. What? Talk about this this offense. They like to throw the ball deep, and uh, talk about your ability to throw the ball deep. Um, I mean, I like to throw the ball deep, but then again. You can't throw this ball deep every time in this league, right? So you have to come down to some of your check downs. That's something I have to work on every day. How's your touch come along? The coaches said that's one thing they were working with you. Oh. Do your touch on the short balls, are you improving with that? Oh, yes, I'm improving with that. I stay out to practice with some, get some to receive, and work on that also. Nick, people are going to want to compare you to Cam Newton. How do you, how do you take those comparisons? Um, I really can't compare myself to how I just be myself. Does it help you at all? You've been part of an SEC secondary. You kind of know what, how good, how much defensive talent there is in this league and everything. Does that help prepare you a little bit for what you're? Yes, it helped. It helped um, prepare me a lot because um, like I know what goes on on that side of the ball, and then again, I just know what to come. I know what to come like whenever the situation is. And is was it kind of exciting? You saw what a guy about your size did last year, at Texas A&M, in this league. Do you, do you feel like? I mean, is that kind of exciting? You see quarterbacks running for a thousand yards. Uh, I mean, it is, but then again, I just, I don't too much worry about what everybody else, what, like, what he does. I just worry about me and then worry about for my team. Yeah, Coach said, Coach said when you when you finally clicked for you is when you started really separating yourself from the other quarterbacks. When did it start clicking for you, like week two, week three? Or um, I can say it was, about, it was about week two, and I got comfortable, like, really, like, what the plays be running, I got comfortable with it, like, what to go with it, like, progressing, and then it just went from there. Nick, you just explain a little bit because for those of us who didn't see a lot of film out of Garden City, you had a ton of yards, a ton of touchdowns, but you did have 20 interceptions. You did have five fumbles. How much has ball security been emphasized to you since you've gotten here? Well, it's been good because um, we have coaches that like ring that in our head every day about ball security. Then like it really it's still it's stuck to me now. So really, I, um, I'm not really worried about um, the turnover. What's your goal now that's your team? What, what's your goal moving in the last week and a half to camp before the game? Um, just helping my team win and do it the best I can for them. Nick, that first scrimmage when you guys went live, obviously you turned some heads the way you played that day. What do you remember from that day? How did you do it? How did you do it? Um, I just basically, basically like 
just went with my instincts, like just be blessed that I can keep the players alive with the ability that I have. Nick, how do you feel like the offense looks right now? How good do you think you can be this ball? Um, I'm just improving every week. The offense, the offense is gonna be good. Just it's on me, but I'm gonna get better every week. How long of a journey has it been personally to you since you know leaving UGA and now starting again in the SEC? Um, I don't too much worry about that. I'm um Auburn fan, Auburn player now, so that's in the past. I'm just gonna move forward. Nick, in February you said you wanted to win a Heisman a national championship here. You're the starter of a team that went three and nine last season. After going through the 18, 19 practices you've had, about how, you, how confident do you feel that you can meet those high goals you set for yourself? Um, I mean, no high goal, but then again, I'm gonna bust my tail to like to get to uh, achieve my goals. I know the team they're gonna help me do that. I'm sure you've always been really confident in your abilities to play whatever position, including quarterback. But was there a point in time that you felt, you know, this is my position, this is this is where I'm gonna be the start? Yes, yeah, so I realized that like. When um when I went out to Kansas at Garden City and then like I would kind of rush it the first week but then again I got back into my groove and then I knew from then and there that I, that was my position. What's your point that maybe you're at Auburn where you thought you know what I know this competition is going on but I'm the guy. Yes sir, but um they just we just um, competed every day and then just I just did what I had to do best. What were some of the schools that recruited you a quarterback at a high school? Um it was. They had Florida State, Georgia Tech, um, Georgia, basically. Um, I had Vanderbilt, I had Tennessee, I had Clemson, and I think that was pretty much it. As, as a quarterback? Yes, sir. Okay. Take a few more. Nick, you were a big runner in Garden City, obviously. I mean, now that, now that you're in the SEC, these defenders, they're much bigger. You're going to have to think a little bit more about which confrontations you want to get away from and which ones you want to take on. Yes, sir. It's just, um, Really, in this league, you can't take too many hits at quarterback, so I just use it to my ability to get out of bounds, just get down. What's it going to feel like for you in two weeks, just playing in your hair as a starter? Um, it's going to feel great to I know the team. The team behind me and I'm behind them 100%. We're just going to go out there and win game. Nick, you, you played Hutchinson when you were at Garden City. Now you have a couple of teammates who were at Hutchinson. Ben was one of the guys who sacked you in that game. Have you guys gone over that game? and? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, he talked to me about it like as soon as I got on campus. We laughed and joked about it, but it's nice to have teammates on your team that like that really come after me like that, but I know he'll do the same for the other quarterback. All right, man. Thank you. Thanks, Dick. Thank you, Dave.